above the Amalfi coastline lies the little town of Ravello, known for its endless charm and breathtaking views. While honeymoon in Amalfi, we decided to grab the bus and check out what Ravello had to offer. Follow along and we will show you around. If you are not already, make sure that you hit that subscribe button for more awesome travel content and check out the description box for the rest of our adventures in Italy. Ravello dates back to the Roman era, but gained its wealth during the medieval period through maritime trade with Asia. Ravello is full of culture. You will fall in love with the architecture and winding cobblestone streets. Ravello after a crazy bus ride. Wow, look at the view. So stunning. It's going so high. Let's go in town and find some lunch. That's one of the villas. We're gonna go check that out after lunch. This is right by the, the church, so probably we should walk a little ways, right? Yeah, but yeah. I mean, we should check prices too because we we'll figure if we go further in a little bit. Yeah. More kitties. side of a cliff basically. Yep. Their church is not very exciting looking from the outside. <laughs> I mean compared to you know the other ones. You may have just heard Nate mention it a second ago but one tip to remember if you're looking to save some money in Italy is to avoid eating in the main piazzas. They're always a bit overpriced and you can find more reasonable prices if you wander away from the beaten path just a little bit. So many ceramics here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, going? Just gotta keep going straight. Cool. Save a couple bucks, get a liter of the house wine. It's usually pretty good. You know you have to look at the lens. I know, I try to look at the lens. I know, it's tricky because you want to look at yourself, but you're going to look crazy if you do that. But I'm so good at you. I know, it's really hard not to look at you. Mm. Did you come over here because you smelled seafood? Yeah, that'd be good. Hmm? Excuse me. It must be fine, right? Hopefully, we're late. Holy shit. <laughs> go, 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 go. Yes! Basically, I thought Villa Rufolo was only open for another hour. In actuality, they weren't, but that's why we rushed down there. Villa Rufolo is a must-see in Ravello, as it is the historical and cultural center of this town. It was built in the 13th century and was once the most expensive and largest villa on the Amalfi Coast. There was even a legend that hidden treasure lay somewhere on its grounds. In the 1800s, the villa was purchased by a Scottish botanist named Sir Francis Neville Reed. At this point, the villa had fallen into decay over the years, so he set about restoring it to its former glory, and he is responsible for these beautiful gardens you see here today. Wow. That's what the pictures look like. There truly is not a better view that you could get at the Amalfi Coast than in these gardens. It truly took my breath away. And photos of it do not do it justice. Simply stunning.
After a stroll in the gardens at Villa Rifolo, we headed back to the square and broke our rule and grabbed a spritz in the piazza. And I'm glad we did because there were not one, but two weddings in Ravello that afternoon that we got to witness. This is it for Mr. Moore's style. Always get Aperol spritz in Ravello. Two, maybe three weddings going on and you're in the square. Because I'll tell you, it's great for people watching. It's awesome. I'm thoroughly entertained. So check it out. Look around. Guess what? Our wedding anniversary. September's a great time to get married. What is more romantic than a destination wedding in Ravello? It was like watching a fairy tale unfold right before my eyes. Next, we headed back to Villa Rufolo for a concert by the Ravello Concert Society. If you're into classical music, this is definitely something to look into while you are here. that little escape to Ravello. Make sure to subscribe if you have not already. Until next time, ciao. But first, outtakes. <laughs> we, we didn't know that no, like... No, no, no. Excuse me. Kitty. He's gonna bark on me.